Hello, everyone. Hey, guys. What's going on? We're going to talk about the most unbalanced game we've ever played in our entire lives. It's called Dead by Daylight. It was free to play last weekend, and we set up a game night with our little patron group. And other than the fact that we were playing with friends, it was such a bad experience that I wanted to make a video about it because I've never had this experience in a game before where I walked away and thought, wow, that was really unfair. The game is an asynchronous multiplayer game. It is where one killer must face off with four survivors. And the survivors have to turn on five generators and escape the level. And the killer... Must kill all survivors. Pretty straightforward, right? Yeah. Sounds like a pretty easy concept. Sounds pretty fun to me. Insert Kevin Spacey GIF wrong. Wrong. <laughs> Superman will never... Wrong! <laughs> So basically the gameplay is that the survivors need to pass prompts in different quick time events that if you fail them, they backfire you or they hurt you and they make it more difficult for you to proceed. These quick time events involve turning on the generators, healing your teammates. Um, the different prompts are things like escaping the killer's grasp, trying to escape being hanged, rescuing your teammates. So there's a lot of prompts for their survivors. The killer... No quick time events whatsoever. None. All you have to do is press buttons. It's literally Not even pressing buttons. buttons. Literally click the mouse. Yeah, click the mouse. There is no skill. There is no reflex. It is walking around the level. It's click not even walking. You're like gliding very quickly. There's no sprint. The killer just runs very fast. So the killer is incredibly handicapped in a way that you have an advantage. Yeah. So it is, you would think, one verse four, oh, it's not fair. Again, Kevin Spacey GIF. Wrong! <laughs> the survivor perks, you either have to find them in the level, or you have to unlock them on the skill tree. You can find them in the level? Well, not perks, but different tools. Like, you can find a health pack. No, that's a, you unlock that. No, you can, I, people have found that. Oh, really? I think so. No, that's an unlock. Are you serious? Yeah, that's an unlock. So there is no There is nothing, the there is no finding things in the level. I found a map in the level once that I couldn't even figure out how to read. Yeah, the, the health pack, the flashlight, those are all things you have to buy. And you buy it by going to this blood web skill tree. Which is randomly generated. <laughs> it's like randomly, randomly generating a, a, a skill tree in <laughs> Warcraft. There's no way it's ever going to play out in your favor. And once you buy these perks, if you go in the level and you die, your perks die with you. Yeah, they disappear. There's a chance you'll never see them again. So there's basically no point for long-term playing this game. There is no long-term investment. There is no long-term investment. There's no return investment. on interest. The killer perks, however, you have a cloaking device. You have bear traps. You have teleportation. You again, have a chainsaw. You have a chainsaw. You have weapons. Again, no quick time events. And they are available for infinite use throughout the match. Yes, you can infinitely use things over and over again with the press of a button while the survivors have to scrounge from the bottom of the pit. Okay? Let's just, let's just put that out there. Yeah, put it out there. <laughs> put it out there, Kaitel. The survivors have no offense against the killer. All you can do is run and put down little obstacles occasionally i feel like the the saying you can run but you can't hide is like the definition of this game because you can run but you cannot hide and if you do hide it is a one hit kill if they find you hiding in a cupboard and they pull you out you're dead it's one hit you're not you know, dead you're, you're immobilized dead. well you're immobilized which means you're gonna get impaled on a hook you're going to get impaled on a hook and no one's gonna save you and the hooks for the killer they are all over the level i mean there are just dozens of hooks you turn around and there's a hook and the killer can just stand by the hook as you're impaled so no one can come save you it's basically they can just guard the hook which is stupid like it totally defeats the purpose of like pulling your friends off the hook you can't even do it right a lot of times we would just say something like sorry i, 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 I can't save you because it's too much of a risk and that should never be the case right so when you get down to just the one last person on your team you might as well just quit quit there's no way one person can beat the bad guy, which I don't think is fair because at that point, it's really, I, I think that's just a clear, that's just a clear example that the game is unbalanced because if everyone on your di on your team dies, you should at least have a fighting chance. Now, when I played the killer, 
for the purposes of getting gameplay footage, there was a really, really talented survivor left. So much, he, he evaded me so much to the point where I actually wanted him to win, but then when I eventually tracked him down several times, he kept running away. It just took two hits, two hits and he was dead. Yeah. That's not... I mean, that's just not it's fun. Not, it's not fun and it's not fair, and it's totally against the horror movie trope, which this game bases itself off of, which is that there's always one survivor. Someone always escapes. Always. And, like, I feel like that is impossible in this game. You either sur all four people survive and get out, or no one does. Because as soon as you lose one survivor, you're at a huge disadvantage. And every survivor after that you lose, you're at a greater disadvantage. And when you are hurt, you make noises that, that you, com you like, moan and you're in pain. The killer can hear that. If you run, the killer can see your footsteps. You're slowed down. Your teammates have to quick time event heal you if they fail that. It hurts you and it alerts the killer to your position. I just don't understand why they made it so difficult to for the survivors. It's like they hate the survivors. Well, I I seriously think when they made this game, they went into it, they said, "What's what's a cool idea for a game? Oh, why don't we make a game where you play as a killer and you kill people?" It's very clear they put a ton of thought into the killers. Because they're super well designed. They're very well designed. They're very cool looking. They're very neat. They're, one of them is like a... Jason knockoff. You Jason got like knockoff. a Leatherface knockoff. And then you have like a shaman... Bone tomahawk bone looking tomahawk thing. guy. Then you have a... Silent Hill nurse that floats around. So they're very cool, but the survivors, you're just not going to get that level of affection. And I actually sent the Twitter account a message. I said, fun game, but... The survivors probably need a little bit of help. Zero response. Because I don't think they want to hear that. They really need to take a look at Evolve and how Evolve works. Because that's a really fun 1v4 asynchronous multiplayer game that I think is fun for both sides. Yes, it's much more balanced. That's a very good example of a, a game mode like this where you actually have a fighting chance and you survive longer. If you... The thing is... If you die as a survivor, you might as well just quit because there is nothing else you can do. You can't get revived like you can in Evolve. You can't get called. Can you get revived? Yep. So you can't get revived or called in in this game. You can't do anything like you suggested. It'd be cool if you were a ghost and you could blind the killer or something. Yeah, you can mess There's with no them. point for you sticking around if you die. There's no investment at all in a match or in the game, which I think is the game's biggest problem is there's no reason to come back and play it again. Exactly. So while we did have a lot of fun and I liked the game. The concept is great. The execution is poor. Exactly. And so my suggestions are quick time events for the killer. That would immediately balance things out. Less places to hang survivors. Maybe if there was like four or five places yeah. in the map that you actually had to look for to hang survivors to give them more of a chance to escape. Um, giving the survivors some offensive options, like blinding the killer, stunning them, slowing them down, that would be a lot better. They don't even have to do all of those. Just like one would improve the game right. so much. Hopefully they do something, yeah. because I would never play this again the way it is. I feel like Friday the 13th game is going to be so much better. Well, yeah, and they've already shown that once you do get away from... I mean, he's so slow, though. That's the point. The killer is so slow in Friday the 13th, and in this one, he is so fast, he can just keep up with you. Well, and the other thing is Friday the 13th, um, from what I understand, the survivors can screw each other over. So there's that going for them, too. It's much more interactive, and it's much more focused on the survivors sort of outwitting themselves and Jason. Yeah, because in this game, there's really nothing that the survivors can do to trick the killer there's no other distractions right. they can really do. So another thing too, you can see the generators as the killer. Yeah. So you know exactly where to go. It's just, oh my gosh, it's just so unbalanced. I don't know why they made it like this. I don't even know if they played as the survivors when they tested it. They even had a video on their channel, something like how to survive. And it was basically just take shortcuts, just throw down obstacles. Okay, that's great, but when you're caught, how do you survive? Because you lose blood if you fail your quick time event and you're hanging. It's just, it's a tragedy that's a fun game with this potential, I think, to be a nice little party night game is just, uh, needs some serious balancing. So that's all we've wanted to say about it. Yep. If you guys have played the game yourself, feel free to leave your own comments about it. Otherwise, see you later. Bye, guys. Bye.